Hi, welcome back to our YouTube channel, The Truth Rediscovered. My name is Steve. We're going to continue with our series, The Good Soil. Today's topic is, the good can look different. Hi there, my name is Monique and I am one of the youth, young adult uh, assistants at the Shiloh Seventh-day Adventist Church and as well as the church clerk. One period in my life that sticks out to me that helped me put my trust deeper into God was I would say, wow, about 10 years ago, I can say that now. Um, 10 years ago, I was in a relationship with someone who I thought I was completely in love with and you already know how that story is gonna go. But um, long story short, we were looking to move forward in our relationship in terms of taking things on a more serious direction. So he convinced me um, to take out furniture for him, to, to open a bank account with him and to purchase a family plan, uh, a, f a family phone plan with Rogers. Now, I was in university at the time. I was in about my second year of university. I was working part-time, going to school full-time, so I don't have a lot of money. The money that I'm making from work goes directly to my transportation costs or to my little toiletries and things that I would need in between school. So I took out the furniture and he said he would pay it off before you know the interest started for those who do furniture and loans, you know what they mean by that, six months, no interest, all that. Um, I took out the phones, uh, he promised to pay for them as well because I already had a phone, I didn't need another one. And um, the bank account, I opened up one uh, with him. So all this was to show him that, you know, I love you and I'm, I'm ready to move in this direction with you, come what may. Long story short, he kind of ruined a lot of things in that direction. So the furniture ended up getting tossed out um, because he wasn't honest with me about his finances and that and he wasn't making the payments that he said so the furniture literally got tossed out um i, I was the store was calling me over almost every single day threatening to send me to collections uh for the phones he also didn't take care of the bills as well ran it up really high but i didn't know this um and he he canceled the plan but not in the proper way uh so when it was cancelled it was basically still accumulating some interest on it and finally the bank accounts he took out money from it and kind of left it in the negatives and that was all under my name so as you can imagine financially i was a wreck i was so stressed out i have never in my life ever been so stressed out like never been so stressed out i'm going to university at the same time and school never stressed me out like that um I'm here worried that I'm gonna get sent to collections and you know you need to have good credit to live life and do anything, get a car, get a house, they look at all of that. And I was so concerned that I was that I was gonna get messed up and I wouldn't be able to live my life comfortably. One day, uh, there was a friend of his that is now my friend. She, uh, we described to her the situation we were going through and she sat us down at her round table <laughs> and she made us sit down and make a plan to figure out exactly what was going on financially. Speeding forward, we were able to pay off everything. Praise the Lord. I was really happy about that uh, because I was also living in the negatives, like my bank account was in the negative for, um, uh, for almost a year and that was very traumatizing for me because it just felt like I was in a hole that I couldn't get out of. I lost weight, I lost like 20 to 30 pounds and it was very noticeable to others and not even to myself. I didn't even know that was going on. It was an incredibly rough time and that was the moment where I, me and God, we were like, we became like this after a while because I was so worried about everything and to the point where now I had some type of trauma from that situation. So if I see my bank account has less than a certain amount of money in it, I start to panic internally. But the fact that I went through that situation and I came out of it, I let go of that guy, clearly. He's not <laughs> in the picture anymore. But once I let go of let go of him and the debts were gone and I really sat back and looked at the situation I noticed that I'm like God had held my hand throughout the entire process it was 
it was a very difficult experience but he provided for me from the very beginning to the very end and I saw his blessings throughout the entire time even though sometimes it wasn't obvious to me when I did some reflection I noticed that in these times it could have been completely worse than it actually was but it went very well by the grace of God and even now if I face any type of financial situations or I start to worry about my finances I remember to myself or I reflect to myself remember what he did for you 10 years ago he brought you out of it there's no need for you to worry there's no need for you to panic he's got you he made $100 stretch for two weeks how I can't tell you so for me now I see that and I've applied that to my life as much as possible anytime I feel myself worrying about small stuff or big stuff and I'm freaking out I just say God's got you that's two words I say to myself two three words God he has your back every time so from that experience I've grown so much with him like I just make sure I pray to him as much as I possibly can because I know he's blessing me and he's taking care of me as he has before and will continue to do